everyone today's video is going to be a tutorial and it seems like lately I have been doing a lot of tutorials I have basically been vlogging tagging and only that reviewing products but since I decided hey I wanted to do a tutorial today I wanted to really just get behind my camera and talk to you guys today and just film a video so today's tutorial is going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette which I think was really nice to use because the Urban Decay Naked Palette has a lot of neutral shades for you guys to choose and you can create any kind of look with the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And this palette has great colors and great adorable shades. And the shades that I'm going to be using today is Book and Naked, Virgin, Sycar, and Half Baked. And these are like the most common shades everyone likes to use out of this palette. And it's $50 at Ulta. It's very affordable if you really think about it. You're going to get a nice palette nice gorgeous shades for $50 so they're very pigmented with the ribbon without base and this is for back to school video so I want you guys to really have fun with this look going back to school if you really want to spice up your look a little bit so this is the look here and the only thing different that I didn't use is eyeliner because I felt like the out of the really brought out the look more than just applying eyeliner to our lower lash line and also to our topper line or up topper line upper lash line as well so thank you guys all so much for watching and talk to you guys later in my next video so the first thing you want to do is to prime your eyes and I'm using the elf eyelid primer in the shade sheer and a primer basically keeps your shadows from fading increasing throughout the day and you really don't want your shadows to fade increase that's not a good thing to do so or see at all so you want to just take your ring finger and blend out the shadow excuse me the primer alrighty so next you want to take a base which is the LA Colors Jumbo Pencil these are dupes for the NYX Jumbo Pencil and this is the shade Seashells and I'm going to take it and apply it all over to our lid because basis usually helps our shadows become more vibrant throughout the day. And I'm going to use the same ring finger and I'm also going to blend it out very well. And also you don't want to use a lot of product because jumbo pencils, any brand, any type of brand you use is going to crease. So any jumbo pencil you feel that oh just because it's of a better uh, brand, it will crease. So make sure you don't use a lot of product whenever you're applying a jumbo pencil. Next you want to take the palette and I'm going to be taking the two shades Naked and Buck and I want to use those two shades with a large blending brush and I'm going to use these two shades for a blending color. And the blending color basically helps our other shades that we're going to use in our palette, excuse me, on our eyeshadow look to um, blend a little bit better. Next, I'm going to be taking Half Baked and Sidecar with a flat shade of brush. You guys I already know what type of flat shade of brush it is, and I'm going to apply it all over to our lid. So you're going to take this black shade of brush from L, taking Sycar first, and then you're going to take Half Baked and kind of mix those two together, top of Major Access, and apply it to your lid. I love these two shades together because they're an awesome combination. Then you're going to take Buck again and blend Half Baked and Sycar together. Next we're going to apply Version to the Eye and this is going to be our highlight color in the inner tear dot area also. We're going to use the same exact brush. Then we're going to use Buck again and also Naked to blend out the colors. Next, taking an angled brush. This is the e.l.f. angled brush and we're going to take 
the two shades that I showed you earlier, which is Creep and Dark Horse, and this is going to deepen up our outer V. And I'm going to use that same large blending brush to blend everything out. And I'm going to use a mascara, which is the double volume mascara. And I'm going to be right back with the final look. Here's the final look. And basically, I just got my lips with a lip balm. I didn't really want to spice it up too much. But this is the affordable back to school makeup look for any school. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later in my next video, and let's wear makeup with confidence. Bye!